I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye. He works here. Or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. Far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here too. Good luck to you. I'm looking for a Colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. My God. So it's true then. That idiot's got himself mixed up in something dangerous again. All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. I could do with a bite to eat. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats and they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good, but sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. <laughs> feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. 
We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Ha! All in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys! <laughs> Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. What do you want? It wasn't me. I didn't... I mean... Shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosch and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinnock told me about a whole camp full of those horse huns. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujit. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? 
Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path. And you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? That you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering and burning and nothing will happen to you? Come with me and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never. You might as well kill me here and now. Well, the Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. God be with you. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosch's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Ledechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whoresons weren't after loot, they just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sacra! Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. God be with you.
Yeah. Yeah.
moat. It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. that bed. You've no business here. Out of here. Hey, do you think you own the place snoring here? Clear off. Greetings. What do you need? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications, that's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? No, sir. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out as soon as possible and put an end to them. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Take care.
Greetings. What do you need? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. Welcome, Henry. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Farewell. Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge in the arches, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Go, go, go! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible! Hold your position there! Let's go! Oh! 
You go out, you dogs! Try 
time of that! What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. This last time was too easy. Quitting. Giving up already? Oh! 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 Oh!
I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, uh, we live to fight another day, eh? <laughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Provislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And 
and they even took one captive. He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Dopperdell. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg.